Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beer Adventurer. And I'm Lunchbox. Did you know that the rivers in Canada were made of beer? <laughs> well, no, but I'm finally doing the black blue. So, pitter patter. Let's get at her. All right. If you're a beer drinker and you've never had Labatt Blue, go and get you one. If you're if you're just starting, Canadians make beer. But here's the thing. Canadians, like the big Canadian beers, these are consumption beers. They don't drink a beer. All the Canadians I've hung out with, they drink beers. This one's what? 4-7. Although the only thing that gets me about Canadians, this should be a 12 ounce beer, right? 11. It's not. Point 0.2. 11.5. Oh. But it's like 340 it's it's, milliliters. It's not 333, so it's like a third of a liter. It's just something random. It's probably got something to do you with. You wacky Canadians. It's got something to do with importing it here. Probably. I'm sure. Yeah. You know, Canada's like a cool ass hat <laughs> for America. I figured it was like like the attic. Sometimes you forget about it, but then you're like, wait a minute, there's some neat shit up there. I should go check it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Yep, and all of a sudden I'm 22 again. Tastes like Quebec. <laughs> I haven't been to Canada yet. I want to go. Um... I used to hang out with a bunch of Canadians when I lived in Florida. Because I don't know if you know this, that's their natural habitat. Take uh, a jacket. Yeah. Uh, Canada, it's cold. Um, so, Labatt is kind of like their big, big uh, Budweiser or Miller or something like that. And I've had quite a few different Labatts. My favorite is... Uh, is it their flagship beer? I don't know if this blue is technically that one, but they make a boatload of that. What's the other one from up there? Molson? Is that Molson? One? Um This is the OG flagship. I think it might yeah, be. Like this was the first one that was really imported heavily into the US, like that we could see in the southern US. In yeah. We saw uh, this one and then we saw Molson, Molson Canadian, which by the way, I will tell you this, a little interesting side note. Um Molson Canadian that we get in the United States and Molson Canadian in Canada is two completely different beers. So they don't have to cross the border. Um, literally, like the cats used to say, I am, and had the Canadian, like the maple leaf on them. And I know that because my buddy was, his dad was Canadian, his mom was American, and he would bring them back. And I've had like three beers and I'm like, why do I have a buzz? And he goes, oh, because those are Molson Canadians. And I'm like, I've drank Molson Canadians before. He goes, have you ever had any from Canada? And I was like, no. And he <laughs> hands me the thing and says, read the ABV. And I was like, holy balls. So I'm on my second six pack then, even though I've only had three beers. Yeah. Uh, I enjoy them. <sighs> they have this weird Canadian funk, the way Corona has a little they funk. Do. They have this weird little Canadian funk to them. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that... All right, they're stupid it's just smooth. A beer. Yeah, they're they're really they're stupid smooth. They have a high malt content. I don't think I've seen one in twenty something years. Every, I mean, I don't see them all the time, but every now and then I find them. And the reason I haven't reviewed them yet is because I tend to drink them all before I get a chance to review them. <laughs> um, they are consumption beers. They are cookout beers. Uh, the biggest problem is putting them back down. Like, as you can see, you, you can just keep drinking. It's like a fucking Dr. Pepper. You just keep drinking it and drinking it, and then you're like, oh, I'm out. Oh, there's another one. Um, now, if you're somebody that wants, like, oh, I need lots and lots of malt, you're okay. Mm -hmm. If you need lots and lots of hops, this is not for you. No. If you like all the weird flavors, and this one has this and that, and no. No. Simple, effective. It's just a Pilsner. It's just... Simple, effective, does exactly what you, I hate to say like Canadian beers are one note because I know they're not, but like I said, Canadian beers are drinking beers, they're enjoying beers, they're, I'm going to enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, that's why I like Canadian beers. Uh, I do have a studio audience, I'm going to see if they want a sip of that. There you are. Um, I, I like Labatt Blue. 
I mean, before, before, before craft beers were really, really easy to get a hold of, it was the import beers that you went for when you wanted something right. different. So I started drinking Guinness and Molson Canadian and Labatt Blue and Corona and um, Heine. Heineken and Red Strike. <laughs> Those were the ones that I wanted when I wanted something a little different because they didn't taste like High Life and they didn't taste like course banquet um something different but overall i think this is a good beer i agree and i figured you probably hadn't had this in decades oh yeah it's been 20 something years since i've had one yeah i was gonna say it was probably about the same time like <sighs> thanks for the trip down mid, mid lane, college uh yeah <laughs> yeah i was gonna say you probably hadn't had one of these since you were in college so probably not yeah so uh from that I weird kid from st louis drinking Thing. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll see what I can find and put that in the description. Also in the description you will find uh my links to various social media. You'll also find the um link to my merch store. Where you can buy that shirt. And other shirts, uh stickers. We put it on all kinds of stuff. Uh you know, just look for beer adventure. And if you see something you like, click through it. It's all kinds of different things. They were like, hey, do you want to put this on a mouse pad? I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah. I don't have to make it. Uh, so, yeah, we can put it on all those things. Did now, you dig it? Now, wait, before we get to there. What? If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more of these, subscribe. If you ring the bell, you'll be greeted three times a week. What is your favorite Canadian beer? Ooh, that'd be neat. I don't know what my favorite Canadian beer is. Put that You're in the comments. more of them. What is your favorite Canadian beer? Okay, so let's get down to it. Did, did you, you dig it? it? I did. You first. I did. I did too. Uh, <laughs> would I'll, you have another? I would. Are you going to have another? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> I, mean, I don't have another one right now. But. Would you seek it out? You know what? They're not real hard to find. But they are a little more hard to find than, say, like, Miller Lite. Right. They're, uh, they're in about half the convenience stores. Maybe a third. Right. Uh, I really wish they made this in like a 24 ounce can. I'd get that more often. That'd be right. kind of cool. Or so like 32. The, the pick six thing is out because they don't really offer them like that. Uh, I don't see them very often. Every now and then I will at a grocery store. Okay. Uh, um, I actually got this at a grocery store in okay. a pick six. Awesome. I did not know that. Last time I saw them, they were in 12s, I think. Yeah. <laughs> to get like a 12 yeah, Most of the time they are, they're in 12 packs, <laughs> 24 packs. Uh, you're like, hey, did you enjoy that? Get a case. Like they didn't even sell a six back then. Huh? Yeah. But, or that I could find. So, in a 1 to 10, I'm at a 7 on this. Yeah, all day long. Yeah. I totally agree. 7? Seven, 7, yeah. Well, there you have it. It is a good consumption beer. Solid beer. Proper. Proper Pilsner. They're not terribly expensive. Uh, if you haven't had one in a while, I suggest it. If you've never had it, I suggest you try it. And until your next beer adventure. Cheers. G'day, mate. Oh, that's Australian. What's Canadian? Huh? <laughs>